Hey folks, it's Michael Collins on January 30th, 2015. What are we looking at here? We're looking at an average, a 10 minute average being taken of a rain sample that we just swiped outside of Radiation Station Santa Monica. And it hasn't hit the 10 minute mark yet, but we took a background before we did this and it came in at 39.9 counts per minute. This is a rain sample that is reading hot. It looks to be now reading over three times background. And this is not the result of radon progeny. No, no, no. We've taken thousands of radiation tests here at Radiation Station Santa Monica since March 15th, 2011, four days after the triple meltdowns, which are still ongoing, started at Fukushima, Japan. Most of the time, the rain that we've sampled here in L.A. has not been hot. But this is, this is over four times, uh, pardon me, over three times background. If you follow EnviroReporter.com, you already know that three times background is considered by the California Highway Patrol to be a trip level that then necessitates hazardous materials protocols, hazmat protocols, meaning got to put on the moon suit. This is over three times background in the rain in Los Angeles on a busy Friday afternoon. And it's uh, coming down on millions of people who have not a clue as to how hot it is. Now, one thing I want to tell you about measuring rain, you can see right here, here's our sample. See, it's a, it's a piece of white paper. It's kind of a white kitchen paper, paper towel. And you can hear the detector still picking up radiation, even though it's finished, it's 10 minute average. The thing about water is that it, it inhibits radiation. It inhibits our readings. That's why spent nuclear fuel rods from reactors are first put in spent fuel pools, which are water. And uh, the water helps shield the radiation. It helps inhibit the radiation, meaning that if I were to take my time and slowly evaporate this water off, and not boil it off, not steam it off, but evaporate it off, that what I'd be left with would be even hotter than this. But let's think about the medium it's coming down in. It's coming down in the rain. It's over three times background. CHP trip level for hazardous materials. This is the first time in Los Angeles in a while we've had something like this. And this rainstorm is actually originating in the Pacific to the southwest of us. And it's moving in to the Southland in a counterclockwise fashion, meaning it's actually hitting us from the Northeast. But it came in off the Pacific. I don't think that this is radiation that has come from Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant, San Luis Obispo, about 100 and 130 miles away from here. I don't believe it's from a coal-fired plant in Arizona. I believe this is from the Pacific. I believe that the Sea of Fukugu could very well be here. Now, some folks would say, oh, that's radon progeny. That is the remnants of radon gas washed out in the rain, and that's what we're detecting. That's not the case. As you've seen in the thousands of tests Radiation Station Santa Monica has taken, we're not impacted by radon progeny at all. And for folks who don't know their radioactive physics, radon is a gaseous byproduct of radium in the soil. We just don't have any here where I am. So this is the real deal. Now, if you're in rain, you don't know how hot or not it is, like in Death Valley, in late 2013, where Denise Ann and I took radiation measurements for days in Death Valley, going up as high as over 31 times background. If you don't know if that rain is hot or not, 
Well, it just depends on your comfort level with radiation. Myself, I got wet in this rain, and so I just took off my clothes and threw them in the hamper, and then we'll wash them. I won't freak out about it, but you sure bet I'm not going to keep wearing them. So if you don't know what's in the rain, and it's raining, and you suspect that it could be hot, or maybe not, just do what you normally would do. Use an umbrella. Wear a rain slicker. Then when you get inside, if you don't have an inspector radiation monitor, well, wash, wash off your uh, umbrella, wash off your rain slicker. And, you know, another thing, don't let your kids play out in rain if you don't know if it's hot or not. To find out more about all the testing we've done for almost four years now, and of course we've done radiation testing for years before that, because EnviroReporter.com does specialize in one area in radiation and its impacts on the environment. Come on over, check us out, find out more. Find out more about Fukushima Daiichi in the Sea of Goo. Check out our article, Fukushima, The Perfect Crime. Find out what we're up against. Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com, January 30th, 2015. We'll see you soon.